Hey everybody, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a photo collage using Photoshop 2020. I went to uh, Pexels and got three photos that I really liked. I linked the name of the artist or the photographers in the description below if you're interested in seeing more of their work. Let's get started. So to get started, the first thing you're gonna do is go to File, New. And then in here, set your width to 1280 and your height to 720. You can leave everything else uh, set to the default values. And the reason we're setting this to 1280, uh, the width to 1280 and the height to 720 is because those are the recommended width and height for YouTube thumbnails. And that's recommended by YouTube. Uh, go ahead and click Create once you've set these values. The next thing we're gonna do is if you haven't done it already, make sure that the images that you're going to use to create your collage are already opened up in Photoshop. These are the three images that I'm going to use, and I've already opened them up previously. If you haven't, you're going to go to File, Open, and then in here, you're going to select the three images that you're going to use. But since I've already done that, I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of here. All right, so go back to your collage file. And the first thing we're going to do, or the next thing we're going to do is going to create our grid layout. So go to view. Sorry, we're going to create a guide layout, not a grid layout. But yeah, so go to view, come down to a uh, new guide layout and click on that. So you'll see this dialog pop up and you've got toggles for the columns and you've also got toggles for rows over here. Go ahead and check rows off. We're not going to be using these. Uh, not for this tutorial and make sure that columns is checked on and go ahead if there's anything in the width field go ahead and clear that and clear anything in the gutter and then set this to three and then you have three evenly spaced columns go ahead and click ok and here we've got our three guidelines that we're going to use to help us create our collage before we move on to the next step, we're going to make sure that Snap to Guides is turned on, and you can do that by going to the View. Go to the View tab, come down here to Snap to, and make sure that there's a check next to Guides. If there's not, go ahead and check it on. All right, then the next thing we're gonna do is use the Rectangular Marquee tool. It's up where over on the left-hand side. Select that and draw a box around the first column. Then go to the first image that you want. And you can do, there's a couple ways you can do this. I like to hit Control A on a Windows. You can do this also hitting Command A off if you're working on a Mac. So hit Control A and then hit Control C on a Windows or Control, or sorry, Command C if you're on a Mac. And then go back to your collage yeah, so then go to paste, paste special, and paste into. And if your image is too big for this space, go ahead and do control T if you're on Windows or command T if you're on a Mac. And it will give you the bars to adjust the size of your image. Now I would probably just, I like to zoom out. You can do that by the magnifying glass on the left hand side and do a right click and hit zoom out. A quicker way of doing it is control and then use the negative symbol and then just drag to fit your image into the space. And then go ahead and you can shift it around and position it. If you don't want it to snap the way it's snapping right now, um, here I'll zoom in so you can see this better. So you see how it's snapped to the guides? If you hit, if you press control and then move your mouse around, you temporarily turn off snapping. Okay, so position it. That looks pretty good right about there. I like that. All right, not, not quite, almost. Okay, there. Okay, so let's look over on your right-hand side in your layers tab. You can see that we've created a layer mask now um, next to the image and there's a blank space in between these two things. Normally you will see this link and when this link is turned on we cannot 
we can no longer adjust our image. We can't shift it anymore. And that's because it's now fixed relative to the layer mask. We click check it off. We have the ability to shift our image once again. Okay, I'll put it back to where it was. Now repeat this process for the remaining images. This will work for, you know, two, three, four, five images or you know, any number of images that you want to put together to create a collage. Once you've got things sized and positioned uh, just the way you want in the collage, you can turn off the guides by going back up to view and clear guides. So if you found this video helpful and you'd like to see more from me, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.